Uh, some top secret. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Get in the vault. There's a lot of vault in Yeah. There. First in the vault, we're going to play a video <laughs> that we just shot. Yeah. Okay, Lady Data, what is this? Hey, I'm trying to uh, fulfill a quest I put myself on to find reverse mountable NeoPixels. So, you know, basically SK or WS2812s that you can reverse mount and have the LEDs shine through the front of the PCB. So this is like one that I got, and I'm doing a little test here, and, and yeah, it works just fine. It's nice and bright. Um, what's interesting is that, you know, you still need to cut like a large hole in the PCB, but you should be able to mount this on the bottom through these four wide pads that stick out. Um, you just have a hole cut out, and then the LED shines through. So I'm going to try a PCB with this next, now that I know these work. All right, next up, tell me about this. Okay. So I had like a four day weekend and so I, I, I finally got to a lot of hardware I've been meaning to do. Um, so this, sorry, this module right here is the new ESP32 S2 mini module. Um, so we've had boards like the Metro or the MagTag with the ESP32 S2, which is the ESP32 with native USB that can run CircuitPython now. Um, but they're really big and, and those modules won't really fit very nicely on uh, Feather, which is my favorite format. Um, and so I wanted to wait until the mini version of the module came out. Um, and this mini is just, it's a little bit, um, it's a, well, it's actually a lot more smaller. And it has the chip inside that has the built-in RAM and flash all in one, so it can be so compact. Um, but it's still a very lovely little module with a PCB antenna. Um, and so I put together three different versions of a feather. Um, one is just a plain feather with, you know, everything on top. Um, and ESP32 S2 module, just sort of like our, our classic feather. And then I made one, um, so this one here, the, or sorry, the, these, these two images here, um, the module's on the bottom, and then on the top I put a TFT. Um, this is based off of um, a Metro Mini that a long time ago you wanted me to design, and we couldn't make it work before. But now we have small TFTs, and we have small Wi-Fi modules, so I, I, I sent out prototypes, and we'll get them soon, put them together. All right, and then this is the... Yeah, and this is another version where I put the module oh, back right. on the front and the TFT on the bottom. So I'm trying out, like, different... Th you know, I'm just yeah. experimenting with, like... Once I got the schematic going, I'm like, well, let's try flipping things around. Like, maybe maybe it's reverse-mounted um, so that you can panel-mount it with some buttons. So this yeah. is a different... And uh, when I posted this up, we put the GitHub uh, repo screenshot there. One of the things that's starting to happen is um, people will say they're, like, working on a project... Or, and like I thought of that f a, a year ago, I never showed it to anyone, and I wish you wouldn't do that, Adafruit. Like you're coming out with hardware, and I think everyone needs to stop with that. Like ship your hardware, um, post more than renderings. Um, if you're gonna like play the game of who thought of something first, that's not what open source hardware is, anyways. Like the whole idea is we're all figuring out the state of the art. Like there's tons of ESP32 boards, cool. It worked out great for customers. There's tons of ESP32 S2 boards coming out, if not are already out. That's yeah. great for everyone. Um, I don't think it matters. Like we don't ever um, care about us posting or sorry shipping something first. We show all of our work. So these coming soon's like you know I get asked sometimes like oh why do you show what you're doing in advance? Are you worried about competitors like you know seeing it and making it and shipping it faster? I'd be like if they did a really good job, I'd probably buy it. Um, yeah, and we but, do. I mean, like, I, I, like for, you know, one of our new products was like this um, yeah. board from SparkFun. They did a great job. Yeah, I, like, I why, why make remake this? this? Like, why we don't want to remake it? it. I'm not going to make anything better than that. Yeah. Um, so it's just one of those things. I think everyone needs to chill out with that um, because, you know, someone's like, oh, I, I know you can't. I know I came up with this before you, and they saw like the board. They, they thought the date on the board. Um, was like a different date and it was like no we actually thought of this two years ago and we put it on our Flickr and it's on GitHub from like three years ago so please don't say you came up with it first but who cares but, but it doesn't even matter yeah it's just like stop it I would I would Ship never harder. I would never say oh yeah. like somebody got something for me I'm not going to do it yeah you know, so I, you know if you look at every single top secret video you do you can see our entire product lines and some of them we get to right away some of it takes a little while but we're always going to show all of our work all the times and we're always going to like make something and, um, and I'll talk about that in a Except little bit. for some things that are secret. Yeah. All right. Okay. What's this? Um, okay. I also um, was mucking around with some stuff, and I was in a situation where I needed uh, two USB ports where I only had one USB port. Uh, so I started looking around at low-cost USB hubs, um, and this chip from Microchip was actually kind of nice. It's like a very simple all-in-one 
pretty much a uh, USB hub. Um, uh, it can do even a high speed 2.0, although I don't know that my layout would support it. Um, you can even configure it over I squared C. Like you can put it into like a mode where you write the EEPROM and then it shows up with like your VID and PID and username and stuff. Um, so I thought this would be a cool little, like it's not a stemmer board, right? Because it's a USB hub, but I put a stemmer connector because you can reprogram it. So I don't know. I, I'm just experimenting with this chip. All right. So um, this is, we and just. send out a panel. We're sending out a panel. These are 15 new products coming out very soon. And uh, if there wasn't, you know, the Capitol on fire and the end of democracy, um, I was going to have a longer discussion about this, but I'm just going to stick it in the uh, top secret. So, That's fine. so we show our work. We show what we're doing and working on. And here's my 2021 request for all of us to help our dear Lady Ada with. So we post this up, and what do we see? You really need to slow down development. Um, we get emails from dudes and say, I wish you wouldn't make this hardware or that hardware. And they're sending it to Lemoore. Here is, I'm just removing, because <laughs> I don't want to like, you know, dunk on anyone. We're dunking. Uh, we would prefer Lemoore not work on hardware and work on hardware. Um, and by the way, the two things <laughs> under the stars, I work on both of them, okay? Yeah. Like I, I'm still doing both of so, those things. So here's from my point of view, knowing Lemoore for like 10 years now, and just like, guys need to stop telling Lemoore she can't make hardware. Like they, it's not because they don't want hardware out there. They feel bad about themselves, their abilities or ability to ship, um, the fact that they have to make a video, a guide. Um, they have to like try harder than just putting out a board and just you know post and ghost. Um, we have a very high level of service. Did you say post and ghost? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Where's that from? That's is it, a, that, is it a TikTok thing? That's is a it social a media strategy. Okay. It, it's actually a healthy one. Sometimes just post stuff and then leave. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't don't look at the comments. So this has happened enough, and I have a folder of emails from lots and lots of people saying, could you tell them more not to release hardware as fast? Can you tell them more not to release such and such hardware? Can you imagine anyone else getting emails like this? I've never seen anything like this. None of the other engineers that we work with get these type of emails. Only Lemoore does. So anyways, if you see it, please tell people to stop. All of y'all want hardware. Like our community here, everyone who's watching, you love all the hardware. This is great. It's cutting edge stuff. It's like competitors, frenemies, or whatever you want to call them. Um, these like weird aggressions and like, you know, I really wish you wouldn't work on this. Like who talks like that? And like Twitter is like the worst place for this. There's like, eh, nee, 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 and I'm going to needle you to death. So anyways, so I'm not on it. we are shipping and going to release more products than ever. And we're an open source hardware company. You can download them. You can make your own. That is this week's top secret. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming.